We only have three games left in season number two with the NIU Huskies, and our win last week against Western Michigan extended our win streak to seven games, which had not only secured our spot as the number one team in the MAC conference, but had helped us get ranked and climb those rankings to number 17 in the nation headed into this week, as well as having us projected as an at-large bid team for the college football playoffs. This success the team had found in season number two has not only helped us on paper, but also in recruiting as we have landed four four-star recruits in our season two class, which currently gave us the 24th ranked class in the entire country with another possible commit in free safety James Mix visiting this week against Bowling Green. The Falcons have been a middle of the pack team this year in the MAC conference. Their defense was pretty young and unexperienced this season, and even though their offense looked really good on paper, we know how dominant our defense has been this year so far. So I'm extremely confident headed into this game against Bowling Green back at home in DeKalb again as we look to make it eight straight wins on the season. The senior Jake Siebert set to kick things off here for the Huskies as this is a deep one going to the back of the end zone and Terrion Stewart and the Falcons offense will take over from there. Terrion Stewart their senior star running back side by side with Taj Bullock redshirt senior quarterback. Lots of seniority to go around for the Falcons here on offense. That first play of the game is going to go for a loss of two as now it's going to be a handoff right side. Again, another loss. Jake Gassaway taking down Elijah Grant in the backfield for the Huskies, bringing up the first third down of the day for Bowling Green. Bullock back to throw. He's going left side. That's going to be knocked incomplete. Great pass defense there from the junior Trey Porter for the Huskies as Mark Carvey's going to come in, pump this one away for the Falcons and NIU's off will take over led by redshirt senior quarterback Ethan Hampton who's been having himself a pretty good season and they will take over on their own 46 great starting field position as it's gonna be a handoff to Jalen Poe sophomore halfback getting things started for the Huskies only picking up two they're gonna go play action now Ethan Hampton rolling out to the right this play might be coming back though with a flag hold it, hold it, hold it. And so that big pass play to Kevin Shaughnessy is going back. Second and 18, a quick dump off to his tight end. Jake Applegate getting back the penalty yards as that brings it now to a third and 10 first of the day for the Huskies. And they would convert as Hampton would find Kyle Thomas on the right side. Now going back to the run game with Jalen Poe. Sophomore only picking up three yards on that carry inside Bowling Green territory though as they're going right back to him. Bringing up a very manageable third and three here is man in motion and it's going to be Justin Lynch getting the call, fighting his way forward. And the senior back is just barely going to pick up the first down as they move it to the 32. Play action. Hampton rolling out to his right. It's going to be a dump off to Jake Applegate who picks up a couple. Five to be exact on that play as they're going right back to Jalen Poe now met immediately. Some great run defense there by the Bowling Green defense. Now on the RPO, it's Jalen Poe again. He would pick up the first down and this drive continues to stay alive for NIU as Jake Applegate has it inside the 15. And the Huskies offense no real big plays except the one called back on the holding penalty have been dinking and dunking their way down the field here. Absolutely dominating time of possession so far as on third and five. Pressure forcing Hampton out to the left. Checks it down to Applegate. But the senior tight end wouldn't be able to get the first down. So Jake Siebert comes in and knocks home that field goal for the Huskies. And that promising opening drive ends in only three as Bowling Green takes back over. It's going to be a handoff. Terrion Stewart here to the left side. He has the first down and more. Pick up of about 15 on that play as now they're going empty backfield. Taj Bullock in the shotgun man in motion. It's going to be a quick pitch going nowhere. Bringing up a second and 10 is Bullock back to throw. Going across the middle. Completes it to Sincere McNeil for a first down. Bringing it into Husky territory. First and 10. This drive looking good here so far for the Falcons as that's going to be completed to Harold Fannin Jr. Bringing it inside the five just short of the goal line. The senior tight end making a big play there for the Falcons as they are at the one yard line of the Huskies. Knocking on the goal line and Terrion Stewart fights his way into the end zone as Bowling Green gets on the board and will take their first lead of the night. The Huskies looking to respond after that big play with one of their own. Keyshawn Pipkin now on the wide receiver pitch inside the 50. Taking it inside Bowling Green territory as that's the big play NIU needed. Hampton back to throw. He's going to connect with Kenji Lewis for a first. Under a minute to go here in the opening quarter as they're going to go back to the ground game here. Second and seven going double tight formation. Single 
little setback. It's going to be a counter to Jalen Poe, who's met immediately. Only picking up two yards on that one, with the Huskies now facing a third down. Hampton flushed out of the pocket, taking it himself. He would pick up the first down and maybe two to three yards extra, as this would bring us to the end of the first quarter with a handoff to Jalen Poe in the Huskies. Head to the second quarter down by four but surprisingly on paper they have been dominating this game so far except for that one big play to Harold Fannin Jr. for the Falcons. The Huskies with a great chance to capitalize on this drive nearing the end zone here. Facing now a third in inches should be easy to convert for this offense as no surprise they'd get it off to Jalen Poe getting a second push and that second push after the initial wave of defenders would get him down to the one yard line where Ethan Hampton would step up untouched into the the end zone in the Huskies will take the lead right back from Bowling Green on this drive. Up 10-7 now, it's time to see if the defense can get a stop as this first play is going for a loss. I don't know exactly what Taj Bullock was thinking there on that play, but that will bring up a second and 13 as it's going to be a handoff to Elijah Grant. The sophomore halfback filling in for the injured Cash Jones is only going to pick up a yard back on that carry as that brings up a third and 12. Bullock going across the middle, that's completed to RJ Garcia. And this drive is going to stay alive for the Falcons from their own 41-yard line. It's going to be a handoff. Terry on Stewart up the middle has the first down and more the offensive line parting like the Red Sea for the senior back on that one is they're gonna stick to it with the ground game not quite as much on that one though as Elijah Grant only picking up three yards Bullock back to throw he's gonna connect with Andre Robinson the sophomore receiver just short of the marker bringing up third and one Terry on Stewart back in the game it's gonna be a play action rolling out to his right is Bullock on the run a big completion there to Trey Johnson bringing it down inside the 20 yard line of NIU coming now out of the pistol formation and they're going back to the ground game to Terry on Stewart getting that one down inside the 10 second and one from the seven yard line bullet back to throw moving he's going that's almost intercepted Jake Gassaway coming so close to a huge takeaway there for the Huskies that'll bring up third and one instead bullet rolling out to his left he's gonna take it himself diving into the end zone untouched and the Bowling Green Falcons will take the lead back over the Huskies. This is not a situation this Huskies team has found themselves in a lot this year, going back and forth with a team. The last time a game felt this close was all the way back in week two against Maryland, which was our last loss. This team has done a really good job of coming out strong early and often against teams and games this season. And while I wouldn't say they've been playing bad so far this game, this definitely hasn't been our best performance of the season, as we wouldn't be able to complete a pass there on three third down and KJ Stark the true freshman would come out to punt for the Huskies this one bouncing at the 30 getting an NIU bounce and now Bowling Green will take over starting at their own 19 yard line with a chance to extend their lead on this possession over NIU. Terrion Stewart picking up eight yards on that carry bringing up now a second and two they're going right back to him up the middle for a first down and actually the refs are going to say his forward momentum brought him back behind the line so that's going to be a third and one as the Huskies get a stop. Bowling Green Green would decide to punt the ball away on fourth in inches inside their own territory so starting with the two minute timeout the Huskies would get the ball again only picking up one yard on that reception as Ethan Hampton back to throw it's just going to be another check down here Jalen Poe with the reception for that one out of the backfield is now Ethan Hampton going across the middle he has his tight end Jake Applegate inside the 25 deep down inside Bowling Green territory as this drive now has some new life after that throw as this is going to be completed to Kyle Thomas down to the 11 yard line and the Huskies have to be thinking to the end zone here. Kenji Lewis picking up six yards on that reception from the five. Ethan Hampton back to throw, setting up the halfback screen to Jalen Poe, who fights his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And the Huskies, after trading back and forth leads, take it back once again from Bowling Green. Now just over a minute to go in the first half. Taj Bullock in the Falcons offense hoping for some points. They're going to need more than five yards on those pickups though if they want to get down the field. That's more what they need. Bowling Green using their first time out after that completion. Getting down to the 42 yard line. Bullock back to throw. Another completion here. And yet again another timeout used by the Falcons. Their second of the half. One remaining. 
Second and one. Bullock back to throw. Completed left side. The first down will stop the clock there momentarily as they're wasting some time looking over to the sideline here. Bullock back to throw. He's looking. Going across the middle. That's completed to his tight end. Harold Fannin Jr. with the first big play of the day for the Falcons earlier in the game. Getting them down to the 32 of the Huskies on that reception. Now Bullock taking off himself. He's going to pick up the first down and more. Makes one defender miss down to the four. First and goal to go for the Falcons, but time is still running. They haven't used the timeout. They wasted about six seconds there at the line of scrimmage, and that might hurt them as they need to go to the end zone here on second and goal. Bullock in the shotgun. He's going to throw this away. The senior quarterback not even giving them a chance there as that will now send out the field goal unit on third and goal, and the Huskies are going to block this kick to end the first half. The crowd is going crazy here at Husky Stadium as the Huskies will end the first half with that big defensive stop and will hold on to the lead 17 to 14 headed into the second half. What a game it's been so far here in DeKalb. Great play on both sides of the ball. Both teams looking extremely dominant in the run game so far, but it has been the play of both quarterbacks here. That has been the story of the game, both Taj Bullock and Ethan Hampton making big plays and big throws for their teams, keeping them both in this one. The Huskies offense would get the ball to start the second half here, up 17 to 14 over Bowling Green as they'd start with a handoff to Poe. He would only pick up one yard on that carry, bringing up a second and nine. It's going right side. Kenji Lewis on the wide receiver. Sweep has the first down and more down to the 50. It would be pushed out of bounds there by the Bowling Green defense. Bringing up a fresh set of downs, going right back to Jalen Poe, who bounced off one defender. And that initial loss would turn into a pickup of 7 for the Huskies offense as they're going back to the wide receiver sweep again. Lewis only able to pick up two this time. Huskies faced with their first third down of the half, and they would pick it up. Jalen Poe fighting forward and getting the first down as now they would go to an RPO screen to the right side. And not much happening for them there. Kyle Thomas only picking up five yards for the Huskies in the pistol formation. Double set tight end Jalen Poe up the middle this offense is chipping its way down the field bit by bit and another handoff to Poe who's going to be stopped I correct myself the officials would give him the forward momentum and he would pick up the first down first and 10 to go Hampton back to throw that's going to be completed or so it looked to be as Jake Applegate the senior tight end could not hold on to that one going to the end zone now this time it's held on to what a throw Kyle Thomas holding on to that one in the end zone for the Huskies and then I use offense would strike first to start the second half and would take a 10 point lead over Bowling Green here as Taj Bullock and the Falcons offense coming out onto the field for the first time this half. It would start with an 8 yard pickup there bringing up now a second and two and it's going to be a handoff up the middle. Huskies defense all over that one as Elijah Grant would go backwards for a loss of two third and four that's going to be intercepted by Jacob Finley of the NIU defense. The Huskies getting their first defensive takeaway of the game and while they've come up with some stops, we've been waiting for that first takeaway and have got it. Great starting field position now for the offense as they are inside the Bowling Green 40-yard line to get things started. A chance for the Huskies to make this a three-possession game if they can get a touchdown on the board here this drive. Down to the 20-yard line with that carry from Poe. Fresh set of downs going left side. That's completed. Keyshawn Pimpkin inside the 10-yard line for the Huskies, setting up first and goal to go from the six. Single setback, it's going to be play action. Hampton rolling out to his right. He's looking, he's throwing. That's caught and held for a touchdown. Kyle Thomas again into the end zone for the Huskies to extend this lead. And it is now a 17-point lead for NIU here at home. Looking to increase their rank from 17 as well if they can pick up this win. That would bring up a second and three for Bowling Green now. Looking for any answer to the Huskies here in the second half on their next possession. Elijah Grant going nowhere on that one. Bringing up third and three. They're going right back to him again. And the Huskies defensive line was all over that one as they would force a punt and take back over. Under a minute 40 here to go in the third quarter. Huskies deep in their own territory right around the 30 yard line as they're going to hand it off to Jalen 
Dylan Poe who's picking up a big chunk just shy of midfield as that would bring the Huskies down to their own 45 yard line and they're gonna keep with the ground game here up the middle a very congested line there I don't know how he managed to scrape up four yards on that play but he did as they would go right back to the sophomore back here only picking up one yard as that would bring up third and five for the Huskies let's see if they can convert back to Jalen Poe yes they can he would pick up enough for the first down as now they're going to the play action Hampton across the middle Kenji Lewis wide open inside the 20. Fresh set of downs for the Huskies as they're going right back to the ground game. They haven't had to rely on Ethan Hampton's arm much in this second half as the running game has been working amazing for them as they're going to stick with it. That would bring up another third and five though. Here is Hampton back to throw. He's looking. He's going left side. That's overthrown. And that incomplete pass would bring up fourth down as Jake Siebert would come out for a field goal and he would knock this one home through the uprights for three more points for NIU. And now their lead head extended to 20. 20 points as we are at the start of the fourth quarter. Taj Bullock and Bowling Green's offense taking back over here as the defense is all over him. The senior quarterback going down for a loss of two on that one. This second half has been pretty slow for them so far as he's going across the middle. That's completed to RJ Garcia breaking many tackles into Husky territory. The senior getting them all the way down to the 22 yard line, a huge play for Bowling Green. That's exactly what they needed, bringing up a fresh set of downs. Bullock back to throw in the shotgun. That's tipped incomplete. Almost his second interception of the day is now it's gonna be a handoff to Elijah Grant. He is met immediately by the Huskies defensive line. Third and nine handoff to Terion Stewart. Interesting play call there on third and nine as that would go for a loss of one fourth and 10 now. Bullock back to throw. That's incomplete. Hit as he throws. Pressure forced by the NIU defensive line. That wasn't even close to a completion. So NIU gets the stand here in the fourth quarter and they will take back over on offense. Second and 11. A quick dump down to Shaughnessy. That's going nowhere. So Bowling Green now with a chance to get a defensive stop here and they need it as Hampton going to complete that across the middle to Kevin Shaughnessy again. What a throw from the redshirt senior quarterback who has been playing fantastic today fitting that into a tight window there. And although they've been relying on the ground game today, Ethan Hampton's performance can't be underestimated. He has been almost perfect through the air for the Huskies so far today and is one of the main reasons why they have a 20 point lead as he's back to throw again, launching this one up deep to the left side. One of his few incomplete passes as now Bowling Green would force a punt and take back over on offense. They have a lot of work to do here. Down by 20 with under three minutes to go in the game. It's not impossible possible, but it doesn't look likely for the Falcons here. That pass completion to Sincere McNeil is going to get them down to midfield. Fresh set of downs, but the clock is ticking, taking a lot of time here at the line of scrimmage. Taj Bullock back to throw across the middle, completed to McNeil again. A 20-yard pickup for the Falcons now into NIU territory, but again, taking so much time with the audibles at the line. You need to get this play call off, and that is going to be intercepted by Jake Gassaway of the Huskies defense. The second of the day for them, and that is going to about seal this game here. Just shy of the two-minute timeout, all NIU is going to need to do is run out the clock here. Bowling Green with three timeouts left, but not much they can do with them as it is going to be out of their grasps here. Second and eight man in motion. It's going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe up the right side and bouncing back makes this a much more manageable third and one here under a minute and a half to go in the game it's going to be a quick pitch to Kyle Thomas who picks up the first NIU is going to come out here in victory formation but they will need to take two knees before this game is official as they'd come out one more time here Ethan Hampton would take a knee for them and that would wrap this one up as the Huskies improved to nine and one on the season with another win here at home over Bowling Green 34 to 14 with a fantastic game from Ethan Hampton through the air as well as the ground game for the Huskies. 266 yards, four touchdowns, 87.5% completion percentage for the senior. As he would go 28 for 32 today, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and 266 yards through the air. And that performance would earn the senior quarterback Mac Offensive Player of the Week. While that win didn't get James Mix to commit on the visit, he was so close to signing with the Huskies. And I 
kind of figured, but it was only a matter of time before Randy Bobo would sign with Toledo as we would lose out on the three-star center. We made a big jump on recruit Titus Gibbs as well, and we were also closing the gap on Cincinnati for three-star quarterback Malik Cobb. Even though he didn't commit during the visit week, James Mix would commit the following week to the Huskies, as Titus Gibbs was getting closer and closer to signing with us as well, and we would finally take over Cincinnati for the top school in Malik Cobb's list. With another recruit to the board, that would bring it up to 11 total on the season, which gave us the 29th ranked class in the country at this point. And speaking of rankings, we jumped up all the way to number 10 in the country, and we're even projected to have a first round bye in the playoffs, which is absolutely insane. We only had two games left in the season, so we'll see if we can keep this win streak and playoff hopes alive next episode. As we're back at home once again, this time a top 10 team in the country taking on Miami of Ohio.